What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is DX2929 coming at you with a quick pickups review. Um, I know it's been a little while, but life's been hectic, you know how it is, I'm saying it all the time in my videos. I'm amazed at guys like, uh, that can just do daily videos. I mean, I know a lot of them, a lot of YouTubers use this as their daily, they actually get paid to do it, which makes it a little bit easier obviously, but man, I give them some crazy respect because... First off, finding things is hard. Number two, finding time to do reviews, especially when you have a full-time job, is very difficult. But here I am. I know it's been a little late, but um, I missed you guys. Um, let's see. Like two weeks ago, there was the Too Many Games Expo in Oaks, PA. Um, I literally live right down the street, so that was kind of cool. I got to go to that. I got to meet the Game Chasers, Billy and Jay. Um, Rue was there. Um, Apic. 8-Bit Eric, uh, Alpha Omega Sin, um, Grim Z42 was there, um, so it was really cool. I got to meet all these guys, AVGN I've met numerous times, but you know, he was there as well. So um, in the video, if it looks like I'm sweating like crazy, it's because I am. Uh, this is my room that I have my stuff in. It's actually on the third floor of the house, so I'm sweating my balls off, just so you guys are aware. Um, just shows how much I love you guys. I'm willing to do this and almost die. I'm going to lose like 20 pounds doing this. But uh, when I went to the Too Many Games uh, Expo, I actually had a couple things that I gave to Billy and Jay, and they actually just put out a video uh, thanking me for it. So go check out that video. Um, I don't want to put down what I gave them because I, yeah, I'd rather them wa you guys watch the video, then you'll know. Um, and they were really cool. They, these uh, honestly were two of the coolest guys I've met. Um, Billy is really down to earth, and uh, Jay was kind of busy. He was running around a lot, but he was really nice to me when we actually got down to talking, and they actually interviewed me for an episode, which was, like, insane. Alpha Omega Sin was filming it, so I was, I was pretty psyched. Um, when I went there, I actually had them all sign my copy of Excite Bike. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, I got pretty much everybody's autograph on it, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to end up putting it in, a, like, on display with my other... Uh, Autographs with Retro Liberty and AVGN, even though AVGN did this one as well. Um, so that was kind of cool. Also, I got to meet the Living in 8-Bits guys again. I've become really good friends with them. And uh, I've been bothering Mike for a while to give me one of their Living in 8-Bits cartridges. And he finally did, which was really cool of them. They all signed it. Um, Diana wasn't there. I was kind of disappointed about that. I didn't get her autograph. But I'll see her again, and I'll let her throw her name on there. and That'll be cool. Um, but yeah... Billy and Jay were awesome. Really good guys. If you guys aren't uh, subscribed to them, which obviously I know you probably are, but if you're not, the Game Chasers, uh, Billy gave me this shirt. I mean, he was really cool. I mean, that, you know, I couldn't ask for more from them. They're awesome guys. Check out their videos if you haven't. Um, now let's get into the pickups. Now it's been a while, so honestly, I haven't gone back and watched my old episode, so I'm not 100% sure if I showed any of this stuff already. I don't think I did. But uh, the first thing that I've gotten... Uh, and I've had this for a couple months now, was the uh, 3DS XL. I got the Yoshi edition. Yoshi's awesome, so I got that. And I also picked up Pokemon X. So, if you guys don't have a 3DS, you should. It's freaking awesome. Um, and then I have the actual case for it, too. My 3DS is in there. Uh, let's see. Put this stuff over here. Um, I just recently picked this up at my local comic book store. It's the uh, Play Arts RoboCop figure. It's a bigger RoboCop figure, and you guys know I'm a big fan of it. Uh, Play Arts is actually owned by Square Enix, which is really cool. And they make really good video uh, really good uh, video games and figures. So I figured I'd pick that up. I'm a huge RoboCop fan, if you, you guys know that already. Um, at my local thrift store, uh, the guy who owns it always calls me when he gets Transformer stuff in because he knows I'm a big Transformer guy, and I'm not a reseller. So when I get the stuff, he knows I'm not reselling it unless I get doubles, and I don't resell it. Normally, I'll just trade it towards something else. Man, I'm starting to sweat. Um, so he called me, and he had a couple things for me to come pick up. One of them was this Furby. He offered it to me for 50 cents. It's one of the newer ones, and it actually talks and stuff, and its eyes are LED. I tried it out. I, already, I unhooked it because these things freak me out, but... I figured I might use this as a trade or something because, I mean, for 50 cents, I mean, it's a Furby. Can't go wrong with that. Thing's gonna haunt my nightmares. Um, and I also got this chick. If anybody knows what character this girl's from, uh, let's see if I can get it in there. She's like a little, like, anime character, and there's her butt. Um, she's pretty cool. He just threw that in, so I took it. 
And there's Orange, my big cat that looks like a uh, butterball turkey. Um, now this was the big thing. He, I ended up going there and he, uh, he had this big box of Transformers that he had gotten. And I'm like, okay, well I only really collect the original. But some of the stuff that I saw in here was like amazing to me because who would put this stuff in? He bought it as a storage shed. Who would put this stuff in an, uh, in a storage shed and forget about it? Oh my God, come on people. Um, I don't have everything out. Uh, there was a couple other things. He had Perceptor in there, who's right over here. Um, G1 Perceptor, uh, Astro Train, who's a reissue, but I already have the G1 Astro Train. And another G1 Soundwave, which is right back here. But these were the ones, as you can see, my bottom shelf here is like right here to the right of me. It's completely empty. And that's because, watch out, bud. That's because all the uh, stuff that was on here I took out because I'm going to show you guys. Now, the first thing I saw as soon as I opened this box was a Masterpiece Prime in box, never opened. I mean, it's in great shape, and uh, I was so happy to get this because I already have him, but in the box, this is definitely going to be something I keep for a long time, and he's going to be in there, and he works. Well, where's the button? All we need is a little energon. All I need is a little energy, and, and a lot of luck. Yeah, I need that too. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And then I saw next to him the Masterpiece Walmart Starstream. He's missing some parts, but man, he's so expensive. All these Masterpiece figures are insanely expensive on eBay, so I was really happy to get them because I didn't have him, and I didn't want to pay eBay price. $150? Get out of here. Um, and then I also saw a Ultra Magnus. And when he's only in Japan, which is cool. You can only order him like on eBay or through like Big Bad Toy Store and things like that, or if you live in Japan. So I was pretty psyched about that. I'm hoping that they make like an add-on for him so he looks like the G1 version with all this battle armor on. That'd be pretty sick. All right. Um, I kind of did these out of order because this I have one last thing, and this isn't as cool as that stuff, but it was something. This was only this was actually at a different thrift store. This was on the shelf for like 50 cents, so I picked it up. He's completely, he has nothing. Yeah, literally there's nothing. He came with nothing. I think he has the missile, though. Yeah, the missile's in there. But uh, overall, he's completely naked. But I figured maybe one day I'll want to make a custom figure or something. And his eyes do light up. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I might use this. Do some add-ons, make a cool one. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh... I haven't gotten a lot of pickups, but I mean that that has to make up for. It. I mean that's a lot. Those are some really good figures. If any of you guys know Transformers out there and know the masterpieces, they're crazy expensive and really cool to own. Like I have pretty much all of them now. Um, there's a lot of new ones coming out, and actually I've seen them and they're kind of junky. They're like really light plastic, and and they're almost like a regular toy. And you're paying like eighty dollars for it. Nah, I'm not really into that. So, but thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I wanted to. Uh, Send a uh, shout out to Tyler. Um, he, he made a video about me, and I'll leave the link in the description. And he, he put a little thing about subscribing to me if you haven't, and that was really cool of him. And I really appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, you don't have to do that kind of stuff. And when people do, that's like crazy. Like, honestly, at the Too Many Games Expo, somebody walked by me and recognized me from YouTube. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, I, I, was, I was like blown away by that. So I was really cool. And if you guys ever see me, at a convention or something along those lines. Like, I'll be at RetroCon this year. Not as a... I'd just be there looking around. But if you see me and you want to talk and say hi, man, I'm all for it because that, that'll really make my day. That really brightens my day knowing that people watch my videos and actually want to talk to me. That's really cool. Maybe one day I'll be up there, you know what I mean, in, in the echelon of YouTubers and I'll, have, I'll be better than using a cell phone to make my videos. But right now, this is all I got. So you got to deal with it. <laughs> now, seriously, guys, I love all you. Thanks a lot for watching and...